Hello, this is Matthew Randall, and welcome to this tutorial on using Python in Maya. So this is very much an introductory tutorial, uh, and we're just going to basically show you how you can use Python inside of Maya to create a cube and what we can do with that. Okay, so first of all, we want to open up the script editor. Uh, so I'm going to go into Windows General Editors and script editor here we go uh, make sure uh, we're working in python so make sure you've got a, a blank python tab to work with if you haven't you can just click plus and just click python and that will create a new tab for you okay so um, first thing we want to do is uh, we need to call in all the um, libraries that we use um, uh, sorry python libraries that allow us uh, to work with python so we want to just go import okay uh, maya dot cmds okay so this is uh, this is the library and we're just going to go as cmds okay uh, so this just saves us writing maya dot cmds every time all we've got to do is write cmds every time so just say import this and uh, refer to this as cmds so we need to do this every time we're doing anything with python uh, inside of Maya, uh, you need to kind of add this to the top of your code. So just keep that in mind. Okay, I want to create a cube. So I'm going to go CMDS. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to just rearrange my uh, window here. I'm going to try and park it. Go on, see if it's going to let me dock. Let's try that out. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, and uh, I wonder if I can make this any bigger. Yay. There we go. Okay. Fabulous. Right, okay. So I'm going to go uh, cmds.polycube. Uh, okay, let's run that. Great. Uh, it's, created a poly uh, it's created a cube for us. And notice as I typed in the command, so I went cmds, so I want to access this library here, all the commands that are in this library here, because these are the commands uh, that run and do things inside of Maya. So I go cmds. This is the command that I ran. So this is the polycube command, which, funny enough, creates a poly, uh, creates a cube. Okay, um, uh, and notice when I run this, uh, when I write this, uh, obviously the editor that's inside of uh, Maya here um, is designed to kind of work with this library. So uh, as I type in these uh, commands here, you can see it kind of color codes it to say, "Hey, you've got it right." So if I just kind of change that a little bit, you can see it's not color coding it because it's going, "Hey, that's not actually a command." Uh, that's part of the Maya uh, CMDS or commands library. Okay, uh, so there we are, generated a cube. Okay, let's imagine we want to do something a little bit more exciting or we want to kind of actually, you know, uh, define some elements on this cube. We don't just want to, you know, a one by one by one cube. So let's, uh, let's delete that. Okay, uh, and so we can specify some uh, attributes in this command here. We can give it some information. Okay, uh, and remember what we said about Python. If um, uh, uh, even if you're running a command, and even if you're not passing any parameters to it, you need to put brackets at the end of it to tell Python that this is a, a command. Uh, when I say command, I also mean function. So if I've said function before, I mean the same thing. Apologize for kind of confusing the uh, the language there okay so it, uh, to tell to tell it uh, my that this isn't a variable uh, that this is actually a, a function that I want you to run you put the brackets at the end of it even if you don't pass any parameters to it but we can pass parameters to this so I can tell it I can say hey I want the height to be uh, five okay uh, let's give that a go boom there we are so we've got something that's a, a slightly different height uh, and obviously I can do the same thing for width uh, equals I know two here we go uh, let's delete this boom okay so we can create cubes of a particular size we can also specify subdivisions as well so if I want to go hey um, uh, I'm gonna go subdivisions uh, y equals uh, and I need to go capital Y here equals um, uh, 10. I'm going to put 10 in. There we go. See what that looks like. I uh, need a bit more space. Let's delete that. Uh, see if I've actually spelt this correctly. Kaboom. There we are. Okay. Uh, I think if I just kind of spell something incorrectly, let's just try that. There we go. I think, I think it will just ignore it rather than throw up an error. 
No, it throws up an error. So, yeah, just be aware of that. Um, what I do find is, uh, yeah, uh, it is worth kind of understanding the errors as well. So notice it's saying, hey, you've got an error on line three. Great. We know there's an error on that line. Thank you. Um, and also it says invalid flag. So it's saying you've passed an invalid parameter. It's saying PyCube does not understand subdivision. OK, um, um, so have a look at that. OK, so it is worth when you're working with this uh, editor, uh, understanding the uh, error codes that it gives back. Um, this does give quite good information back on like the um, commands that are specific to uh, Maya or the functions that are specific to Maya uh, on the other kind of uh, Python code. Not so good at giving uh, um, uh, 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 error checking and, and, and giving you errors. OK, so it, it's yeah. So it's a bit of swings and roundabouts using this ed editor in terms of uh, the error information that it gives you. OK, uh, but anyway, there we are. Let's just put that back so it's correct. So you're probably going, well, hey, Matt, that's great. But um, how did you know to type in Polycube? Well, OK, so um, one of the key resources that you want to get used to if you're going to be doing Python inside of Maya is using uh, the uh, reference, the Python reference. So if you go into help uh, and you go into Maya scripting reference and you go into Python command reference, that's the one we want to look at at the moment. Uh, hopefully you'll link straight to it. Yes, it does. Wonderful. Uh, so this lists every single command uh, that is built into uh, this Maya commands library. OK, so everything, everything we're using in this Maya commands library is documented in here. OK, uh, so obviously if I go down to, what was it, Polycube? Yeah. So if I go down to P, no surprises, you're going to find Polycube in there. Oh, there's lots, lots of poly, 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 lots of poly stuff in here. OK, Polycube. Great. OK. Um, uh, now, if I click on that, actually, uh, one of the interests. So if I click on that, it will give me a lot of more information about how to use that function. OK, so it's going to give me information about, you know, um, um, things that I can specify inside of the Polycube function. OK, this bit probably gives you a little brief overview. OK, but you can actually scroll down he says, and get a lot more detail about what each of these values mean. OK, so, you know, um, so I get more information on the depth and the height. Uh, I can give it a name, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm giving it, I get more information on what each of these parameters actually mean. So here is just giving me like an overview. I'm going to go back to the top, an overview of the parameters that are available. And then down here, it describes those values in a lot more detail. It also tells you the information that you need to pass to it. Uh, for it to work. So whether it needs an integer, which is a number, uh, uh, whether it needs a string, which is a piece of text, etc, uh, etc. Et so it tells you what kind of information it needs to be passed to it uh, uh, for that parameter as well. OK, uh, often with these as well, with these commands, if you scroll right to the bottom, they give you some really nice examples of the command in action that you can just kind of copy and paste and try out. So, for example, I can just go, hey, uh, let's just try this out and see what happens. Uh, I might just uh, hash that and just paste that in there and let's run that. OK, there we go. Shoves that in. There. OK, so you get the idea. OK, I find that quite a useful resource, actually. Uh, let's gonna try and go back to oh, it's opened it up in old Internet Explorer. OK, right. Fine. Uh, so, um, yeah. Um, uh, uh, um, yeah, so this is examples. I find this quite a useful resource at the bottom here uh, to go to. Often I kind of look at this first. Uh, this gives me enough information to kind of, you know, some examples and it gives me enough information to kind of work things out. And then I can kind of look at the more detailed stuff as I need to. Uh, another thing to be aware of as well is um, most of the parameters will have a long name and a short name. So uh, I'm going to take, uh, what do we have in here? We had, uh, let's just use this one. Uh, subdivisions Y. OK, let's have a look in here. Uh, so there's lots of different ways of referring to subdivisions. But so we've got subdivisions Y. We could call it subdivisions Y or we could call it uh, SY. OK, uh, so indeed, if I just say, hey, I'm just going to call this SY. Uh, and I think uh, height and width is just H and uh, W. Let's just check that out. Do, 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 do. Uh, Height is H, yes, and width is bound to be W, surely. 
Yeah, W. There you go. Okay. So you can use short names. I probably I tend to like to avoid short names, and the reason being is that when I'm reading my code, uh, you know, a few months from now, um, uh, S Y H and W don't often make sense to me. Uh, I suppose in this case they're pretty transparent, but in some of the more sort of obscure commands, um, yeah. Uh, it's not so helpful. So, but just be aware of that. And if you see any examples, you know, you're, you're on the internet and you're trying to look for example bits of scripts uh, to do things, uh, they may well have parameters specified in long names or short names. Okay. And often when I'm looking at sort of example scripts, I'm going into the reference to look at the command and look at the parameters that they're specifying uh, inside those scripts so that I can understand what they're doing in a little bit more detail. Okay. So if I go and uh, run this, there you go. You can see that that's all works fine. Um, so obviously you can use this reference to find out more information about the parameters available. So for example, I've just spotted a parameter here called name, uh, which seems quite good. So I might just try that out. Uh, so I'm going to go, hey, uh, name equals, and I'm just going to call it Matt. Uh, obviously we need to give it a string. So uh, we need to make sure we put quotes around each, each side of it to tell Python that this is a string. Okay, again, just going to delete that. I'm just going to go, and I'm going to play. Uh, this time, now, if I go into the outliner, Windows outliner, hopefully the magic will have happened. Hey, it's called it Matt. So we can specify a name as well. Brilliant. Okay. So uh, we can use this reference to look up, um, uh, uh, sorry, we can use this reference to look up um, uh, the parameters that are available. We can also use this reference to kind of look up other commands. So, um, yeah. Typically, uh, you you yeah. So typically, uh, if you go in here in categories, what this says is it's telling you what category this polycube command belongs to. So this it's it belongs to. You can see that we can look at all the commands in alphabetical order, and that's how it was listed when we went to this uh, initial reference window. So in here, it's all listed. So this is I've just gone back to the the home page of this effectively. It's all listed in alphabetical order. That's not particularly useful if you're new to um, um, Python and you're not really, uh, or, or Maya, Python and Maya, and you're trying to kind of think about what commands you want to put in there. Okay, so um, yeah, so, so for example, if I hit polycube, go back to polycube again, OK, uh, what we can do is we can we can hit on this and we can kind of say, hey, I want to look at other commands related to polygons. You can see here we've got modeling. Uh, these are all the modeling ones, but we can break this down into like NURBS modeling or Python modeling or doing stuff with curves, curves or subdivs. So you can see it kind of breaks it down for you here. Uh, and you've got all these categories. These are really useful way of looking up commands. That's kind of quite often how I'll do it. I'll just kind of drill in like this, or I might know a command that's kind of similar to it, look that up and see what category that's in uh, and, and use that. So if I click on polygons here, let's see what other useful things we kind of find. Oh, there are quite a lot of polygon things in here. Okay, so I'm thinking, uh, yeah, we can create helixes. Uh, well, so we just go polyhelix. Let's just see what that does for us. Okay, uh, I think that generates a helix. I'm going to click on that to actually get some information on it. Blah, blah, blah. Command creates a polygon, uh, polygonal helix. Great. Okay. I'm not going to bother looking at all the parameters in too much detail. You can have a look at those yourself. But let's throw it in there and see what happens. I'm just going to hash this out. Okay. Uh, sorry, I need to go cmds dot polyhelix. And let's close that. Okay. And run. Boom, it's giving us a polygon and helix, okay? So you get the idea. You can look up loads of commands in there. Uh, final thing I wanted to point out in this documentation as well is if you just scroll just underneath the synopsis here, um, you've got here something called related, okay? And that just gives you, again, it's just another way of finding similar commands. So you can see here we've got related um, uh, 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 commands here. And these pretty much are all commands that generate your different primitives, your different poly uh, polygonal uh, uh, primitives. Anyway, there we are. Here's how to create a cube and here's how to create some other primitives using uh, py uh, Python in Maya.